all right? Let's continue. <sighs> okay, so this brings me to dun -dun -dun, my evolving views on the word cheating, more accurately redefining relationships, period. So I hope I didn't lose half of you guys in the first part. Uh, if you're still with me, listen up. Uh, I need you to listen to this video. I need you to do your own research. I need you to understand where I'm coming from so that you won't be hurt in the long run. Because, sidebar, dudes are going to do what dudes do because it's in them to do. You're never going to see. I'm going to get to it. But just, got me? Listen. Okay. So, respect and responsibility. Single men have the secular right to have sex with multiple women. That's a given. If you're single, mingle. That's you. Be safe, but that's you. Do whatever you want. But here's where I'm going to lose a little bit more of you. I say that we put too much emphasis on the term boyfriends and girlfriends. Too much power given to those words. It literally, in the title, says friend. Okay? Nothing more. Back in the day, even, even still, some of our moms used the term girlfriend to refer to their friend that so happens to be a girl. Not in a sexual manner or a dating relationship manner. It was their girlfriend. Yeah, that was my girlfriend, uh, Shanda. Uh, yeah, that's my girlfriend, Deborah, Brenda. It didn't mean nothing more, but that was her girlfriend, her friend as a girl, okay? Um, so, there's levels, first of all, there's levels to courting. We've forgotten the whole art of courting, or we're not realizing what we're doing is courting. The whole point of being in relationships is to find people of significance, to be our significant other. To be more than what these other masses are to us. We are narrow, narrowing it down to people that is going to be our core. Okay? So, there's levels to courting. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's being single. There's dating. Now, by dating, my definition of dating is... You are actually going out on dates with multiple people. You can date multiple people. It does not have to involve sex. It does not even mean sex. It means actually, hello, would you like to go on a date? Sure, Tuesday night, that sounds great. Tuesday night happened, you had a date. Hey, uh, Missy, you want to go on a date? Oh, all right, Jim, if you're sure, I'm going to go on a date. Totally different guy, dates. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, dating, hanging out. Fishing through the options until it's narrowed down, okay? And it does not have to include sex. Okay, so you got dating, boyfriend, girlfriend. So you narrow it down until you have... Until you no longer have multiple guy friends. So all of these guys were my guy friends. And hmm, his vibe wasn't right, didn't like it. Um, his situation wasn't right, or he didn't like me, didn't like it. So it's narrowing down from like five to two perhaps one that is my one boyfriend not that I had four boyfriends now anymore I have now the one boyfriend okay um and from there you choose to be courted by this one boyfriend and during courtship you become intimate more intimate than you would with the many a boyfriend so you when you had these five boyfriends you weren't supposed to be I was saying bad word. You weren't supposed to be having sex with all five of these boyfriends. Once you narrowed it down and then you both decide that you're going to be courted, then you will become more intimate than you were with the rest of them because it's a whole nother level. Uh, it still doesn't necessarily mean sex. Um, so... And if the courtship was successful, then he would eventually ask for your hand in marriage. And then you guys would be engaged, right? Then you would be married. Now, I say all this to say this. Boyfriends are not your husband. Say it again. 
a boyfriend is not your husband. And for you to expect him to do the things that a husband is supposed to do is unrealistic. It's not even fair. Because he's only your boyfriend. He is not your husband. The two things that they are supposed to do are different. Some may roll over into the next one. Some may be similar. But every single thing a husband is expected to be is not the same thing as a boyfriend is expected to be. Um... So I think that you guys should stop putting so much emphasis on the word boyfriend. Um, da -da 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 -da. Technically, in proper terms, according, he is secularly... Okay, so he if he's your boyfriend, he's still, he's still secularly allowed to have other girlfriends. Oh, I just lost somebody. I just lost like three, four people just now. Even though you guys have come to the terms and y'all have narrowed it down that you're my one girlfriend right now and you're my one boyfriend, secularly, he still has the right to mate with other women or have other girlfriends, not mate, not have sex, but have other girlfriends if he feels like you guys may not work out or if he still wants to keep his options open in order to for his courting to work. So he does have that right. Unless you specifically tell him, if you find that I'm your one girlfriend that you want to be with, but you also feel the need to have other girlfriends at the same time to court, then I don't want to be a part of it. If you want to be with me and court me, then you can do that. But if you feel the need to have others, I don't want that. If he agrees to that, then he should stick to that because that's an oral contract that you and him made that he's going to just do what you, you know, you and him. But if you don't ever say that, and it's not never exclusively put out there, then he still has the right to do it. Um, so let me, don't want to lose you. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Although it's not biblically right for him to be fornicating, and neither is it for you, nobody should be having sex in these scenarios anyway. That's... that's so. When the man's cheating, or when you call it cheating, he's having sex with somebody else, right? And you guys are having sex. Why y'all having... I'm, I'm going to get to that. Mm. So, brings me to the point of respect and responsibility. And refining, redefining what constitutes cheating, or redefining what a relationship could be and should be, and more realistically can be, without us women going crazy. Okay, so online I found this definition. Online, I found for cheating. I found cheating can occur in various forms physical, emotional, or online. Online infidelity is one way to cheat on a significant other. Significant other, that's another word. Significant other, not husband. The definition of the constitution of cheating varies among cultures. It varies among cultures. So every culture has their a different way that relationships are molded. And the way we cheat in America may not be the same way to cheat in India. Just a sidebar. Um, when people are in committed relationships, the definition of cheating is based on both parties' opinions. And both parties may redefine their understanding to match the expectations at either a lower or higher extreme of the definition, which in short means you two are in a relationship, you two define your relationship. What he is allowed to do, what you are allowed to do. If you say you better not even look at another chick, and he said, okay, baby, I ain't going to look at another chick. Then he have to do that. But if you were like, all right, you see a cute girl walk by. All right, I see you looking at her butt. Okay, whatever. Mm, don't touch it, though. Then he, he can look, but he can't touch. You guys have to redefine your own situation. So everybody's relationship is based on their own understanding, their own terms. Okay? Okay. So, here we go. Still going now. Um... So, yeah, you both have to agree upon what's acceptable in your relationship. Um, so, even if you make it to marriage, 
though, even if you guys pass a boyfriend girlfriend, you pass the uh, courting, you pass the engagement, and you are now married, the stipulations of your marriage is still up to you and he. Nobody else. Nobody else even have to know about y'all arrangement. But you both have to respect each other's the way y'all set it up. Okay? Um so like growing up with brothers and listening to friends and my, even my own relationship, my engagement got ruined from my my <laughs> ex fiance cheating on me and having a full blown affair, a whole relationship, not just sex. But we'll get to that. Um, men have an innate urge to mate with other women, so even if their intention is not to procreate or to have a concubine, basically it is in their DNA. And it's passed along generations and heredity, hereditary that men, loins, need to follow other women. All right? All right, so, for me, the word cheating should refer more to the fact that they get to cheat as far as they can be with me, taking care of me, doing what we need to do to build our relationship, build our empire. But they can go out and have sex with another woman. But he doesn't have to take care of her or do anything for her. He's literally just getting free pussy. He's getting free sex. That's cheating. How can, how come you get to have this this free coochie and you ain't got to do nothing for her? Now, the thing is, it's on the woman that he's cheating with or the other mate that he's mating with to say you're not gonna get this for free you have to bring me out on dates you have to help me with this you gotta come over and clean the garage or something like you're not just gonna get my coochie and go that's that's how you cheat when you got an unfair advantage that's what i'm thinking about cheating you know what i'm saying so let's see let's see let's see <sighs> I'm sorry I got to keep referring to the paper, but it's just so much inf information, I don't want you guys to miss it. Um, da -da -da -da. So basically what it comes down to, you must be realistic and not set yourself up for a heartbreak. And also really realizing why it hurts so much for him to be with another, um, you know, because of the hassle of believing or trusting that he could still provide for you and protect you the way that he started off to have you ever seen a female I think I've seen a female online said besides the cheating he's a good man he take care of me he take care of his kids he a good father this and that this and that and people were looking at her like this bitch stupid as fuck what do you mean besides the cheating besides the cheating the sex didn't really matter he is still taking care of her. So she has no fears or no worries that he's going to leave her in the dark. Not leave her, but leave her in the cold to start over. Leave her in the cold to make the family situation work without him. She's cool with him having sex with somebody else, but he's still taking care of home. And as long as he's not bringing home any fleas and he's not... Um, having any side children that's where it come, the, the 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 messiness comes from from the, the the mating when you go off and have sex with somebody else you can bring home diseases to your mate and mess up your your the, your situation at home and also you can have a child with this other person and now if you are a responsible father or if he's a responsible man he's going to take care of those responsibilities but now that's taken away from money out of your household that's taking away uh, the attention from your children and you that he has to share with this new set of family that was not intended for. If now, if he intended to do these things and you knew about it, then he made plans for these things so that you would still get the same amount of attention, you would still get the same amount of uh, care, and he's going to do his situation over here too. But if that wasn't the intention, then you got a whole whirlwind of problems and inconveniences in your relationship. So, I'm going to say that I don't mind if my mate has sex outside. I wouldn't even say outside the relationship because that means he's stepping out. He's not stepping out. 
I don't mind if my mate has sex with someone else, but it's going to be stipulations where you got to have condoms. It can't just be random people. It's not going to be all the time. This is not just going to be fun and play. Um, you cannot have babies on the outside. Like, it's going to be have to be, like, written contractual stuff because I'm not going to be thinking we got our situation straight and then you come home like, babe, I'm going to have another baby. I'm like, the hell? Now we you fucking up our shit, basically. Excuse my la- language, but you fucking up our shit. But if I say, oh, yeah, you, do you tonight, uh-huh, you better have a condom. Uh, this is not an affair unless I stipulate, if I, well, I'm not saying that I want a polygamous relationship, but I want to say that I'm totally against it, but if he wants to, when we discuss it, then maybe, but not really, I don't care. What I'm saying is, don't bring home no diseases, don't be making no extra babies, don't be making no complications for over here, and the way that people work they going to say, oh, your boyfriend was out here doing something and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to have to explain my theories on my relationship. So make sure what you're doing is covered in the darkness because people just got too much to say. Now, if I feel like just explaining it, then I will. But most times I, I won't feel like it because it ain't got nothing to do with you. And I, won't have, I ain't got time to be explaining stuff to people. So, keep it in the dark. Keep it clean. Don't bring me home no babies. No extra babies. Uh, so, like, no loosey-goosey. You ain't just gonna be doing that, whatever the hell you want. Um, so, yeah, we got through that. Um, so, basically, you have to be a secure person in yourself. Uh, and you have to trust him. If you guys talk these things over, you have to trust that he's gonna do his part and you continue to do your part and that he will be honest with you to let you know if he's not happy with you or to be honest with you that he is actually going out and doing what he's doing and that he is protecting himself and by which protecting you and you guys and respecting y'all relationship by respecting himself and being responsible for y'all whole situation um here we go. Oh, we almost done, y'all. I hope I still got some of you guys with me. I hope I haven't lost you. I hope you're understanding where I'm coming from. And some people might think I'm crazy or I'm stupid or somebody done got to me. But it's not even the case. I realize that men are going to do what men do. And for order for me not to go crazy or have to start over or have another heartbreak, and it's just ain't no man perfect. Even if you don't think your man cheated, he probably has. And if you have proof that he hasn't, which I don't see how you can have proof that he has not cheated, he even he's thought about cheating. Even when he turns 70 years old, if he haven't cheated on you before, if the opportunity comes, men are going to do what they do. I know this. I have brothers. I have cousins. I have friends. I have my own experiences. You've had experiences. I've seen experiences. Men are going to do these things, but if you put it in line where it's not such a, t- a taboo, if you put it in line where it makes sense to you and this is what you can deal with, then you should do it because it will save you heartbreak, it will save you these baggages that you hold on to, these trust, itu- trust issues that you still are holding on to, these unrealistic beliefs of that he could be with you forever, but doesn't mean forever is going to be just you and him. I'm just saying. Now I hear somebody, I hear somebody say, well, what about the women? What about the women? What about the women? Can we do the same method? Can we go out and have sex with other men and that be okay? No. No? Why she say no? What the hell? My nigga, why I should be able to get... No. No, 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 no. We are not built that way. Men literally have an unlimited amount of sperm. Their body is literally meant to sow seed in as many places as it can. That's just genetics, right? We women are not built to have these sexual lustful urges. So, no, we are not able to do the same method. Because if we're having sex with a man that's not our main guy... 
then we've passed a point where 